Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today we are going to be recording metal using a Sound Blaster 16 from 1992. Now first I'll go on how I made this work, but if you just want to hear what it sounds like, click the timestamps below to find out. For those who don't know, the Sound Blaster was pretty much the first widely available sound card with digital sound capability for PCs. Before the Sound Blaster, the only sound for computers was the PC speaker, which provided bleepity bloopity sounds that came from the internal speaker inside your computer. Later on, we got AdLib cards, uh, which were released sometime in the late 1980s, which was an improvement, but still only provided music and synthesized sounds using the OPL2 Yamaha chip. The Sound Blaster was a standard for many DOS games uh, throughout the 90s and provided music and digital sound effects for um, games like Doom, Duke Nukem 3D, Duke Nukem 2, Commander Keen, Jazz Jackrabbit, and so on. But the real question is, how does a 30-year-old sound card work for recording? To find out, I removed my ISA Sound Blaster 16 from my trusty IBM PS1 46 and placed it in my faster HP Vectra VE with a 450 megahertz Pentium 3. I didn't think it would even be possible to record on a 25 megahertz 486, eh, so I didn't really try. Uh, maybe another video. <laughs> anyway, to record I plugged in an SM57 into my old Mackie mixer and routed the output into the line on this ancient card. I'm obviously using a real amp, since VSTs really aren't an option here for obvious reasons. Like my previous video on Windows Me, I was going to try to use Reaper, which normally runs fine on Windows 98, but I ran into some RAM limitations and kept getting disk write errors. I then tried an older version of Audacity, which was still riddled with problems and I couldn't get a clean audio signal really from either of them. As I was about to give up, I tried an older program called Quartz Audio Master, which ended up working perfectly, although I was only limited to four digital audio tracks, and it was still fine for this project. Now, the biggest obstacle was obviously percussion, so I made two versions of this tune, one using the onboard OPL3 chip on the Sound Blaster 16, providing very uh, ad-lib sounding drums, which is kind of hilarious. Then I made a version uh, a normal human might want to listen to using Steven Slate 4 for the drums, which is pretty much what I always use. After recording on this Windows 98 PC, I exported all the files and mixed them using Reaper on a modern PC. But anyway, here's what it actually sounds like. All the guitars and bass were all recorded using the Sound Blaster 16. So that concludes this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you're interested in some actually useful information, check out my other videos. For another project like this, check out my recording on Windows Me video. And like and subscribe if you haven't already. I don't normally post uh, a lot of videos, but I try and aim for quality content that's sort of unique like this. So anyway, hope you guys have a good day and uh, see you later.